Hey, what's going on guys and girls? Hard Drive here, Fine Tune CB. Hey Matt, I decided to do a video. I know we talked on the phone and I said, and I tell like a lot of other people, videos are in HD afterwards. Everybody does these little goofy videos, tune-up reports. And I haven't seen anything yet resembles anything of a tune. Period. A bunch of junk stacked up, you know, or whatever. No, I'll create more enemies. That's all right. You guys need to know. You need better performance. I know. I'm tired of the crap. I know. I'm key down. Competition. Just taking your money. I know. Some of you know how long I've been doing this. Sometimes in plain sight. Sometimes not. Real low profile. Anyways, Matt. Like I was saying, it wasn't perfect, and it's not. I told you I didn't want to do it because it wasn't perfect. It wasn't video material. But then I kept thinking about it and decided, you know what? Yeah, this thing's old. That's a brand new radio. It's ready to go. I figured, all right. It's time. I think I got a couple of these I've shown on YouTube. Probably even more on my Facebook. I got a lot more videos on my Facebook. Anyways, I figured, you know, just the reality of it. Something that's been used for, what, 10 years? It was in pretty good shape. You still have it in pretty good shape, as we discussed. There's absolutely no reason this thing can't go another 10 years. Now, if it was tuned properly at first... It probably would have done its 480 or so AM. But considering we're not going to push it that last couple of mystery watts that ain't going to do anything at all besides burn your shit up or make you happy going woo 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 look at the meter. Because <laughs> it's useless. Well it ain't. It's not useless. It, it's, it generates revenue for somebody because they're tearing their shit up and they didn't have the honesty or knowledge to know how to tune the equipment properly. So this is your new radio, Texas Star 500. Now, I did repair, where did I put that little thing? I just had it in my hand. I call it the tennis bombs. Right, there it is. Okay, let me get something non-conductive. This capacitor right here was broke loose from the board. I got a picture of it. I might make that the uh, image picture for this YouTube video now that I think about it. It was jacked over on angle like this. This, the 10 meter tier part, you know, type of thing, conversion, was still in here. I don't know if they jacked it over and ripped the trace loose. Not the trace, but the solder joint. Or what, but it was pulled through. So, yeah, we did have to break the seals. It's a pain in the ass. It's like it's worse than changing the files because everything's got to come out to be able to solder that back in. And it looked like it was like that, either never never soldered or you know just a minute amount of current and vibration throughout the years. It took all the solder out of there. It was really clean inside. Last guy was in it. I, I guess you know the seals, awesome. Don't know why he didn't know that the sideband delay wasn't working. Was, when I checked it, it was going, eh, 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 like you said, you had it underneath the seat. You know. Couldn't hear it. So now we got sideband going. Lids are all off. Here it is. So um, stick with me. Oh, tennis bomb. Okay. What's a tennis bomb? I'll tell you a little secret, but only half of it. You see... This is like a transmitter. The only thing missing is your favorite flavor of frequency. Positive and negative. Little antenna. Piece of wire. And a tennis ball. <laughs> a couple days, maybe. Yeah, it all depends on your ingenuity tennis bombs. Alright, so that's all taken care of. 
I'm still recording the little red lights on. Hold on a second here. I'll show you linear too again. You'll, you'll dig. Well, linear. Well, how about nonlinear due to the fact that this is a MOSFET? I'll cover that again one of these days. I've been covering it now forever, you know, bipolar versus the, the MOSFET. Providing the tech knows what he's doing, has the right test equipment and proper knowledge, then, you know, it can be made linear or in an advantageous performance way and clean. The reason I didn't want to do a video is that it's not performing like brand new and it's kind of dirty. Dirty comes in a lot of different ways. Just over modulated, that's just one small part. Intermodulation distortion and harmonics, that's a whole different animal too. This ain't the cleanest thing on earth. It's more than likely going to be the transistors. It's factory. They weren't beta matched, okay? The curves. Yeah, there's the same batch, but that doesn't mean as much as beta matched. So you'll find and see harmonics. Hope I'll remember to show you that. So anyways, let me hit this real quick. Everything's on. Oh, receive, you, you all know my receive. You're gonna hear what others can't and not have to worry about the bleed over. That's another topic. You know, in the last eons of years, and recently especially, people have been asking me, they're getting these receive mods and these guys got you know, test equipment, but they're getting all kinds of bleed over, and the noise is worse than when they got it, so if they're telling me their videos, are like, it looks good on the video, but I hear less than I used to hear. I know. <sighs> okay, it's the same thing when you hear them out in DX. It's like me when I'm barefoot, you know. You're giving me 20 over, and I'm barefoot, so there's a way that the, uh, the meter, it's not the meter, it's another circuit that actually measures a specific amount of RF energy at an S9. I'm not going to cover that right now. But the majority of these receive updates, well, I do updates. The re majority of the receive, whatever they call them, you know, mods or whatever, that's what happens. Okay, you receive front end overload, it induces. You know, or redu reduces, you know, adjacent channel rejection. And that can be a big problem, especially if you're in a truck or a heavily populated area. It can really, really piss you off. But that has a lot to do with who is inside your radio. So, yeah, this one is just, just like the rest of mine. Awesome receive. And uh, another AF mod that I do takes out even more noise and increases the signal to noise ratio and also another db or two on uh, the sign head which yeah one or two in the right place means all the different means you're going to hear them or you're not period yeah, there's some videos on that on my channel thank you scott and jason stogie <laughs> this is getting to be too long so let's get started i start out at am all the way down Amps on. Oh, by the way, Texas Star. Can't believe how much I used to preach this in Texas, 80s and 90s. I don't care what your opinion is. Nobody cares. Stick with the facts. Facts come with knowledge. Opinions come with the other crap. You know, no one cares about opinions or, you know, advice. Texas Star is designed to run the fins up. Heat rises. So, don't snivel and whine about the faceplate. Just do it, STFU. Just do it. Or mount it accordingly. I mean, it's not that hard. So what? The letters and numbers are upside down. What the hell? I'm dyslexic. <laughs> yeah, I try living that. So anyways. Uh, okay. Power's all the way down. It's a 500 watt plug. We all know the bench. Okay. It's a cool bench. And it sweeps just like uh, all my others, excluding anything that's set up to run the Heil mics. This gentleman's going to use a brand new one of these. And I'll plug mine in towards the end of the video to show you. 
I'll still use this. But it's going into mobile. This, this radio is going to be primarily uh, used on sideband. 10 meter, excuse me, 11 meter sideband. So things are shifted a little bit towards that. And he's got an old ham buddy. We, want, we don't want him to you know, be dissatisfied when he has to listen to him. So again, everything's shifted towards sideband. I can make it do a little bit more on AM, straight AM. Make it appear to be louder. But remember, the louder they are, the easier they are to get walked on. Period. Louder, get walked on. There's a ratio. Alright, there's our little 4 to 1. Audio 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Break, 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 break. Audio 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I'll forget the meter again. Alright. So get it like this. Only within, when you're in the right tolerances with the right plug, etc. Audio, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, break, 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 break. A 500 isn't meant to be measured down that low, so it, it, it'll do this. Audio, you know that's a crock of shit. I'm not going to change 10 slugs. Alright, so, you could talk on this thing like that all you want, man. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 times just to talk back. But you could talk on it, talk on it, talk on it, talk on it, talk on it. It's going to sound awesome, and it's not going to be overbearing on nobody. Leave the amp on, providing it's getting some type of circulation around it, okay? Upside down, getting near no pillows, or underneath the seat could be dangerous if there's no circulation at all. Heat just builds up, and only the pressure of the heat up underneath the seat escapes. But it maintains, and retroactively, just gets hotter, 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 hotter. Heat kills components, okay? Anyways, let's uh, go full blast and we're going to go halfway. All right. You're going to see that it's going to go into compression. Notice it doesn't reach top to bottom. All right. Look close. It's slightly distorted. Not bad, but slightly. Why don't you look at it like this? See the distortion. Not bad, okay? She's doing all she can. That's at a 100 watt carrier and 14 4 volts. So I'll run it like halfway on the knob, alright? Where I suggest you just run it all the time anyway. Alright, for continuous, like 125. You know, yeah, it's working, but I would push it to that point. So it's halfway on the front, on the knob. Straight up and down, should be like 75. Right, well, 75, 80. See the difference that made? Let me turn this down so I can see that, maybe see that better. That yeah, looks better. A lot better. Full blast. No, it's not clipping yet. It's about to, but it's not. So halfway on the power, 100, okay, continuous. Doesn't really drop that much, if you noticed. Not going into saturation, drawing way less current, dissipating way less heat. Remember, this is AB biased. So it's conducting twice the amount of time as a Class C. That's primarily the design of this amplifier, the way the fins go, and why the pills are separated the way they are to get rid of the heat. They're conducting another 25% or 90 degrees longer than a Class C. If it was an A, it'd be conducting all the time, but it'd be extremely inefficient. And you'd have very little gain. A, B, bias, pretty cool. These are decent amps. Could there be better? Yeah. But there. this is a good amplifier. I'm not mocking it one bit. Glad you got it here. I'm glad we're setting it up for you. So anyways, there we go right there. One, two, three, four, five, six. I gotta look in the camera so you guys can see that. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let me get that calibrated in there. Audio six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Break, break, break. Audio seven, eight, nine, ten. Breaker, 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 breaker. Yes, sir. It's doing a great job, man. I don't care who you are. If you hate me or not, you're saying, damn. <laughs> 
Yeah, well, that's the way it is. Audio 6, 7, breaker, breaker, breaker. I ain't yelling, I ain't screaming, I'm just talking right here on the microphone. That's it. I like get myself in there. You can't see them. Put my eyeballs upside down, but that's all it takes right there. CQ, DX, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 times. The louder, and I've got plenty of videos that explain what outperforms what. Period. There is no, no one gives a shit. That's all what that is. No one gives a shit. Period. The facts. Alright, so now that was AM. And you can talk all the way down. You know, you don't have to reach back and touch the variable. Leave the variable on the amp alone. Just leave it alone. It'll last. Leave it wide open. No, uh, oh, the receive works pretty good too. It's working. It's not the best, but it's more signal than noise. Alright? Just leave it alone. Just leave it alone. Everything's working. Okay? So let's go to sideband. Considering we're going to use another type of noise canceling mic, and he's going to be using one of these. Oh, this one right here, that'll go in the box. That. We're going to put mine in it right here. All right, we're going to start out all the way down. Turn the delay on. Now you will have to speak into the mic to get it to key. It's, it's that low. Can I make it do anything that I want? Waveform, sideband, AM, all the variable powers? Yeah, anything. But it's a new radio, and there's only so much that's going to be done to it. And with this amp, this radio, this is a beautiful setup right here. It really is. One of the radios, I'm not ever sure whatever happened to the guy, really, to be honest with you. But, uh, probably made the Stryker 955 popular way back when. It was a red, white, and blue one of these. And it was Twister 24-7. Yeah. When you heard them all the time, rocking, stroking, that radio, uh-huh. Well, same exact setup right here. Okay. So anyways, you will have to speak into the mic. You will. It just ain't gonna key. You know, I'll see right there, you might start to modulate on the scope a little bit. One, two, three, four, five. But you're gonna have to talk on it. Audio, CQDX, one, two, three, four, CQDX, four, five. If you're gonna turn it down that far, you can't reach behind the seat or wherever you got it to hit the button. You can turn it down that low, talk to your buddy next door to you or a car length away, all right? Quarter. And it's going to talk, man. 1, 2, 3, 4, CQ, DX, 7, 8, 9, 10. Notice the sound quality. In my voice, CQ, DX. All right, full blast, and everybody wants to see that. No, it ain't going to do no seven or 800 watts. No. It's going to do what this one can do reasonably, feasibly, Last another 10 years. Audio CQDX 163, Mud Duck Station, down by the Rio Grande. Now you can run it halfway also on this. It's a few watts less. That's halfway. I just put it on halfway, hit the red button on and up when you can. That's it. That's all I do. It's almost exactly like the Triple X that you hear me talking on every now and then. Same, 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 same. Uh, there's some stuff done to the radio. Matter of fact, a lot. But anyways. Alright, there we go. CQDX, man. Hey, man, I truly hope that you enjoy this radio, man. There it is right there. You will have to talk into the microphone if you're going to use a noise canceler. Now, I uh, did a little bit of... Oh, I'm going to mess in here if I can find it real quick. Tuning to my uh, SL41. And uh, I didn't use it very long the other day. But when I did, Tennessee, Arkansas, Texas, Nevada, California, all I heard was, man, that's like broadcast audio right there, man, hard drive. I got my 781 swung around that way. It's out of the way. Yes, this is going to be a lot louder. Okay, It is. But there it is, right there, 4 5 CQDX 163 down by the Rio Grande. Pay attention to the scope. 
okay? That's some good shit right there. Most everybody will show you like this. Audio, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Break, 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 but it's better to see it like that right there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and wide open. You know, you yell into it, your meters will probably show maybe five or six hundred, maybe three hundred, but this is what it does. This is the reality of it. Okay, that's the Texas Star 500 AB biased, properly tuned to perform and last at voltage with a 50 ohm antenna or low. Okay, this is it, man. I hope you enjoy it, you and your ham buddy, man. 385, 163. Rio Grande. Hey, if you learned anything, you hate my guts. Click like, subscribe, whatever, alright? Take care. Have a great week. It's hard drive. Well, I just said who it was. Y'all be cool. Take care. God bless. 163 down by the Rio Grande. We're off this key. Click, click.